Hey Sharks, I'm Sammy Lazary. And I'm Emily Telebeski. Coming up, we have a commentary about the stress that homework causes in high schoolers. And a new story about our bowling team here at ATM and the progress that they've come to make. All this and more on WSRK Shark, Shark News. News. Recently, one of our sharks made a commentary for the Florida Scholastic Press Association District's competition. Let's take a look. Should college be free? First off, no student will ever leave college debt free. Between school supplies and living arrangements, it just doesn't work that way. And of course you can say, oh my daddy has money. Well, that's great, congratulations. He still needs to pay for things though. Now to answer the question. I believe that paying for colleges is a system that works. That's not to say I can't use some changes. It is my personal belief, a belief of my own, a belief that belongs to me, that community colleges should be made free, and other public colleges such as UCLA or UF should remain paid for. If community colleges became free, people in the lower middle and in the lower class that couldn't afford further schooling would be able to attend college and make more of themselves than they would have been if they didn't attend college, allowing them to provide for their families and start a family of their own. I went to college. Well, if that's the case, then why not have every college be free? Well, I'm glad I asked. If every college was free, then those schools would need to make a wait list for the amount of students that they'd be acquiring, and state spending would be strained. You can go on the wait list. You can go on the wait list. You can go on the wait list. Also, I'm very strained on spending. Wow, I love free college. So should college be free? Yes and no. Community colleges should be made free for those who can't afford other colleges, while other private and public colleges should be kept paid for. That way we stay waitlist free and we don't strain state spending. For WSRK, I'm Justin Skolnick. And now for a quick commercial break with a word from our sponsor. Hey, wait, why are you eating cereal like that? Hey, first of all, I'm lactose intolerant, and second of all, it's a snack. Not um, a cereal. Being lactose intolerant is no excuse to eat it like that. That's a disgrace. Says the girl who thinks it's a cereal. This is a cereal. No way, it's a snack. It's a cereal. A snack. A cereal. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Huh. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Huh. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Huh. I love these. Is it a snack or is it a cereal? Uh, guys, it's just tubes. Hey Emily, how do you feel about sports? You mean like chess? No, not quite. I was talking more of something involving a ball, you know, a real sport, like bowling. Hearing the sound of the ball hitting the hardwood and knocking of the pins. Well, we happen to have a new story on the bowling team, so why don't we check it out? The girls' ATM bowling team has managed to find their way to the top of district championships. The ATM coach, Don Feske, knew his team was up to the challenge to win districts and dominate in state. When it comes to doing well in school and games, the girls' bowling team take on a lot of pressure. Well, there's the pressure of actually learning how to bowl, um, getting the ball right, learning form and stances and how not to like um, throw out your wrist and everything. Um, you have to make new friends, have to be friendly. Um, everybody on the team is pretty cool, so it, teamwork is a huge part of it as well. The girls bowling team has come a long way working hard at practice to dominate their opposing teams. Uh, they've done an absolutely amazing job this year. Like they're at all the practices, um, this has been the first year where the majority of the team has 
gone out and purchased their own bowling balls and their own shoes. Like they're very into making sure that they do well and that they're dedicated to the sport. For WSRK Shark News, I'm Tamoy Byers. That's it for this week, Sharks. Make sure to keep up with the news updates, Daily Shark Bites, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at WSRK Shark News. And make sure to look us up on WSRKSharkNews.org. I'm Emily Telebeski. And I'm Sammy Lazary for WSRK Shark, Shark News. News. Uh, Take a look. <laughs> yeah, I can go there. I'm laughing. Is this how, Justin, is this how you feel? <laughs> <laughs> like what I'm feeling?